Hi, today we're going to talk about one of the changes that we've made in Top Hat 2.16 Beta in June 2016. The change that I want to talk about is how we handle the MacReady setting. Historically, Top Hat has used the MacReady setting to determine two things. First, your glide safety angle to how far you can glide to an airport. Second, your big circle task optimization, telling it where to place the targets in the circles so that you can arrive home just after minimum time. Both these functions in prior versions of Top Hat were based on the MacReady setting. So your safety MacReady setting would also determine how far you had to fly into the task. The problem is that these two concepts are at odds with each other. If it's very unlandable terrain, you may set your safety MacReady to be higher to give you a larger safety margin for landable airports. By setting it higher, however, that would make you fly further into the task area, when the reality is you'll probably be flying even slower if the terrain is very unlandable. The solution is that we've decoupled these two functions. I'm going to start Top Hat in simulator mode to demonstrate. First, I'm going to demonstrate how the MacReady setting controls your safety glide to airports. In this simulator mode, I have the altitude set at 371 feet and all the airports are red. My MacReady setting is 1. I'm going to increase our altitude Let's give us 1,600 feet. And you can see that what it's done is it's set, it's, it's drawing a glide amoeba where we can land. And the green airports are inside of it, and the red airports are outside of it, indicating we cannot reach those. Now, if I increase my MacReady from 1 to 2, to 3, you can see it starts to shrink that amoeba. Let's set it up to 5. And with 5, there's only one airport inside of that amoeba. If I again raise it, lower it down to th 2, we have a much larger landable area. Now, the next thing I want to show you is targets. And in order to do that, I have to pretend we're flying. So I'm going to drag the little airplane along the task line to the southeast. And you can see that we're flying at 94 knots. Okay, now we've crossed the start line, and you can see that it's calculated our speed on task as 108 miles per hour, which is the same as 94 knots. I'm actually going to slow that down, and you can see that it's put the target all the way in the back. Now, to slow down that speed on task from 108 miles per hour, which is really fast, I'm just going to make a left turn here. And now suddenly we're gliding off course and you can see the speed on task is dropping down precipitously. And as we get into the 70s, we're going to see that target start moving in.
you can see that the target has moved in to about halfway down outside of the circle at 48 miles per hour. Now if I speed up by flying again at 94 knots on task, that speed is going to go up and the, and the target will move out. I'm going to put it at sort of a, about a 45 degree angle to try to keep about a steady speed on task here. And now I want you to notice that I can change my McCready from 2, let's go all the way up to say 5 now. And notice that the safety glidable terrain range changes and shrinks, but my target doesn't change. And again, I can reduce the McCready down to very aggressive two knots. And my land out selection will increase in size, but the target doesn't move. So that's what I wanted to show you today, that we've decoupled the target optimization from the safety McCready, so that the target optimization is now based on the achieved task speed that you're flying on your assigned task, and that the safety McCready controls your glide amoeba and your landable airports. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you is that you can override the speed for the task. If you think, oh, 48 miles an hour is too slow, I'm going to finish the task much faster, you can select the uh, speed task info box and click it, and you have an option. Here it says the task opti optimization mode is the flown task speed. I can select to either manually enter the task speed, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's say um, we want to use 50, let's just say 50 miles an hour instead of 47. Now you see it just jumped a little bit. Let's say we want to go 60. Let's maybe there's a ridge. We're going to really be cruising. So we say 60 miles an hour and boom, it moves the target all the way back. So we have an override by clicking on the speed task info box to change the task speed optimization mode. I'm going to change it back to flown task speed now. There you have it. Top Hat's now decoupled the safety McCready setting from the task optimization. The task optimization is now based on the speed that you have actually flown the task. Come visit us at www.tophatsoaring.org. Thank you for your time.